After an insane season as the Monaco player led the team to a Champions League semi-final, Benjamin Mendy was living the dream. The player signed for the best team in the world. Mendy joined City from League One after representing Le Havre, Marseille and Monaco before making £52 million transfer to the Etihad in 2017. He won three league titles with City and was a member of France's 2018 World Cup winning squad without playing in the final. But Benjamin Mendy had a lot of issues. Mendy has hardly played for City since his £52 million transfer from Monaco two years ago, 20 games in total. A cruciate ligament injury put him out of action for most of the first season, and he has not played this season since incurring cartilage damage to his other knee in November, and he had problems adapting to Pep playing style too, but that simply didn't mean anything. He was still top player, he could have went somewhere else, and re himself, and become a top player once again. So what really happened? The French international footballer and World Cup winner had faced a lengthy jail sentence if convicted. He was first arrested and charged with offenses on the 26th of August. He was suspended by Manchester City following the charges. The France international was accused of raping a 24-year-old woman in a bedroom at his multi-million pound mansion in Cheshire in October 2020. He was also charged with the attempted rape of a 29-year-old woman at his home two years earlier. Mendy, who had denied both charges, was found not guilty by the jury of six men and six women at Chester Crown Court. He said the encounters had been consensual. The court heard Mendy had met a British student in a nightclub in Barcelona in 2017. She became close with a friend of Mendy's and arranged to visit him at the footballer's home the following year. After a night out, she alleged Mendy tried to rape her. But the footballer told the jury, I asked her if we are okay to have sex. She told me no because of my friend. I was like, it's fine, my friend says it's okay, so if you want, he's okay with that. It's when she started to be like that. Upset. Sad. I just left the room. Two years later, a woman was out with friends at a bar near Mendy's home when they were invited back to the footballer's house. She alleged he took her phone from her and led her to a locked bedroom. Mendy threw the phone onto a bed and, as she went to retrieve it, Mendy is alleged to have raped her. Mendy told the jury the two had a consensual sexual encounter and later swapped details on Snapchat. He was asked whether he had held her down or forced her onto the bed. He said, no. He told the jury, I will never force to have sex with a woman. Former Manchester City footballer Benjamin Mendy has asked for privacy to begin rebuilding his life after he was found not guilty on a charge of rape and a separate charge of attempted rape. The 28-year-old former French international walked free from Chester Crown Court in northwest England on Friday, following the acquittal in his second trial, stemming from two charges left undecided from a previous court proceeding. Mendy was found not guilty of six counts of rape and one count of sexual assault at the same court in January. But jurors at the time failed to decide on two charges, resulting in the second trial. Outside court, Mendy said, Alhamdulillah. Meaning, praise be to God, in Arabic. His lawyer, Jenny Wiltshire, said her client was delighted that both juries reached the correct verdict. Benjamin Mendy would like to thank the members of the jury for focusing on the evidence in this trial, rather than on the rumor and innuendo that have followed this case from the outset, she said. In the three years since the police started investigating this matter, Mr. Mendy has tried to remain strong, but the process has inevitably had a serious impact on him, she continued, adding that the footballer would now ask for privacy so he can begin rebuilding his life. In a statement to CNN, the Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, which brought the charges against Mendy, said it respects the decision of the jury. We remain steadfast in our commitment to prosecute rape cases wherever our legal test is met, no matter how challenging the case, and encourage anyone who is a victim to report to the police, a spokesperson said. It is not the function of the CPS to decide whether a person is guilty of a criminal offense, but to make fair, independent, and objective assessments about whether it is appropriate to, to present charges for the criminal court to consider. Former Manchester City defender Benjamin Mendy received support from multiple players, such as Memphis Depay, Vinicius Jr., Jack Grealish, Benjamin Mendy, all cases dismissed. So what do we do now? Who is going to help this brother heal? Who will be responsible for the damage to his name? How will he get his career back? Many years of investment to become a professional footballer. Now what? I never brought it up because I didn't know all the details, but I spoke to him once on FaceTime behind bars and faced him on the court a few times. We cannot allow this to happen to us as athletes. 
Who will stand up for us when needed and not when the damage is already done? Don't turn your heads, people. You lost two years of your career, but that's the least of this whole situation. What about the psychological damage? Surely your life will never be the same. The culture of destroying reputations has made yet another victim. Until when will we be accused and condemned without having the right to basic defense? Fake news are created and spread without checking any facts, which is something I personally felt a lot on this holidays. And then the situation only gets worse. After he was acquitted, several high-profile players including Netherlands forward Memphis Depay and Real Madrid forward Vinicius Jr. showed their support for Mendy on social media. Lorient, who finished 10th in league one last season, announced Mendy's return to French football in a statement. Benjamin Mendy, world champion 2018, quadruple winner of the Premier League under the colors of Manchester City and French champion of League One with Monaco, comes to reinforce the Lorient workforce for this new season. Welcome, Benjamin. The French club play at Bournemouth in a pre-season friendly on the 5th of August and will begin their league campaign at champions Paris Saint-Germain on the 13th of August. Benjamin Mendy had interest from Burnley, Olympiacos, and many clubs from France and outside of Europe. He wanted to join Lorient to have a calmer environment and regain his confidence after such a long break from football. Money wasn't his priority. He just wants to play again and have fun on the pitch. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.